and Christy, and we're gonna put together this table saw. Let's go. I bought the Rigid 10 inch pro job side table saw with stand. I bought it on sale for $349, originally priced at $549. I picked this primarily because it could be folded away easily and I only have a tiny spot for stuff in my shed. But I just followed the step-by-step -step instructions and everything was fairly easy. I followed the numbers labeled on the parts. One goes to one, two goes to two, and since I didn't have a second person, I used my feet and legs as braces. Because I am absolutely terrible at following directions, I mainly looked at the picture. But once the stand was finally built, you just add the saw but right here just making sure that it folds correctly and everything was level and straight and then you just screw on the screws tightly but not too tight because you don't want to break anything <sighs> just follow the directions don't be like me Okay, so now that the stand was built, I added the saw. And well, the saw is very heavy, and you should have a second person to come help you, if you can, but I didn't, and so I lifted this by myself. So, hot tip, use your legs, not your back, and then gently lay it on the stand. Once it's laid on, then you can just screw it all into place. There are four screws, one on each corner, and it kind of tells you how to screw it in in the picture. And so you just screw it in tightly and you're good to go. Just make sure that everything is level. So that's why I have a level in my back pocket. You don't actually see me leveling it to make sure that it was 100% even, but I did, sorry. And now that it's all done, you can just gently fold it away to make sure that everything sticks. And I was praying that it wouldn't fall off. All right, so the table saw comes with a few pieces for the saw. You have your miter gauge, your rip fence, a kickback paw, and a blade guard. There's also a push stick, but I forgot to show you that. The saw also comes with great storage for areas for the extra pieces. So this is where you can keep your kickback paw and your blade guard. They snap in pretty easily. Snapping out, well, that was a bit more difficult for me, but it snapped in. The rip fence also stores very easily with these rubber ties on the back of the saw. You just place it and then snap it shut. And then, like I said, it also comes with the push stick and that has its own little storage area in front of the saw, right here. Right of the push stick is where the miter gauge storage sits and it just slides right in. All right, now that you know where everything goes, let's turn it on and saw some stuff. Yeah. Just kidding. Rewind. Before you turn it on, you should do a few things. Like one, putting on the attachment so you know how they attach. This took me a bit to figure out. First is the kickback pole. The attachment has a knob you push down and it opens a little spring inside that goes on the very last notch on the riving knife. Squeeze down on the knob and place and it should latch on. Again, this took me several tries and I had to Google a few videos to figure it out. So don't fret if you don't get the first try. The blade guard goes on the top notch. 
you see that little hook lever, it goes in there and then you snap it down. There you go. I obviously did not do my research on this table saw because I just realized the table extends out. So now I can work on big pieces. I'm a dummy. But also, I can chop big pieces now. So what else? This little lever raises and lowers the saw blade height. Twist the knob to unlock and then turn the lever left counterclockwise to go down and clockwise right to raise it. And this is the rip fence. It attaches on by snapping into place and sliding to where you want your cut fence to be. Then snap that lever back down to hold in place. The built-in ruler is super handy to know how wide of your cuts will be. You should also make sure that it's aligned at 90 degrees and using your square and that the angles are also correct using your combination square. I did not show you this, but I did do it. I think wrong. Now you can turn that sucker on and watch it cut beautifully. Holy shit. <laughs> and this is a box that I was making for a girlfriend for a gift. And I did not make a video of me making that box because it was my first box and it was terrible. I made so many mistakes, but anyways. That's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Also, I believe that table saw is still up for sale, but at $3.99 instead of $3.49, which is still a fairly great deal because it was originally $549. But if you're limited on space, it's a great, great saw. Anyways, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.